Days. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Shaq Quarterman to tackle on Days. Roddy, whenever you've got uh, young linebackers like this, a lot of motion and movement can disrupt them. It didn't look like Quarterman was affected at all. It sure didn't, Dave. He was right on top of it. And that was one of the things that Manny Diaz said he's so good at. It's the instincts that have made the true freshman such a good tackler early in the season. Finley back at quarterback. They give it off. Days tried to cut it back and tackled at the 45. He's going to lose one. Joe Jackson, number 99 for the game. Another one of those guys, they've been singing his praises. Joe Jackson, the freshman from Gulliver Prep, for showing it early. Loss of one in the previous play. Kaya wants to throw it, and he's got his man right down the seam, and it's caught by Richards. Yeah, nothing loosens up a rush or a team that's defending the run more than a couple quick throws from your quarterback. This is an excellent throw on the slant route. The freshman, Richards, comes over the middle. Well-thrown ball by Kaya. Try to take care of business with the passing game to loosen up NC State on defense. 744 yards receiving this year for the freshman, Richards. And that is the best of the country among freshmen. Kaya again to the boundary near the 40. Richard slips away. In today, but they play Virginia next week in their rivalry game to try to get themselves into the championship game. Kaya's pass near the 30. Caught. This is Richards. He's out of bounds near the 20-yard line. 18 yards. Kaya to the freshman Richards. Well, you see the receiving skills for Richards now. Going to sell the fade, now shut it down. Hit the ball to him quickly. Kyle with an excellent throw. And then a nice run after this and line up here in the, in the Wildcat. It is third and very short. Days needed to get beyond the 35 to ensure a first down. I don't know if he got there, Dave. Uh, Pitney, the, the, the freshman linebacker. We talked, Roddy talked about these freshman linebackers. Pitney. Takes a no backseat to Swagger as well. This is a kid that can really run. Number 56 going to shoot through and make the tackle. But they had unofficial visited recruits and just a lot of people there having a lot of fun at the high dive. Keynes on third and nine. The pressure came. Kaya got it away. It's a first down beyond the 45-yard line. And it's Richards on the grab for Miami. Boy, nice job by Kaya to stand in and take the shot. He knows there's more coming than they can block. But he knows he's going to have a throw against man coverage. Takes the shot in the side to let it go. Excellent throw on time and on the money to his freshman receiver, Richards, for the first down. Finley hands it off. Gillespie near the 10 yard line. Short yardage. We go back to been unable to block up front. So Finley tried to have just some success. Miami yeah. showing some pressure. They were also 0 for 4 on third down. And right away, hit at the 10 was Kelvin Harmon. Miami thinks it has the football as Jamal Carter delivered the hit. I know the Miami fans would like to see Miami get to back to where they were defensively in the early 2000s. And so far, this looks like that group. Carter going to come up and just drop the hammer on the screen pass. And Elder scoops and scores, but no, no fumble here. Boy, it looked like that was close to being out. Going to broadcast. Miami has the football from its own 45-yard line. Best start. As far as field position is concerned for the Canes, and this is Najoku getting away. And first down yardage near the 40. 15 yards for number 86, the junior. Yeah, nice job of uh, strong hands. Najoku's going to come from your right side, hook up, just squeeze the football in traffic. And now here's where he's dangerous. People don't realize it's 6'4", 200. They run it with Yearby. Breaks away, and Yearby. Beyond the 20 to the 22, needed to get to the 29. Middle on the edge, came in with 17 tackles for loss and eight sacks so far this year. He's got another sack in this game, nine to lead the team. This pass complete. Najoku gets away from some defenders and goes beyond the 40. Josh Jones finally made the tackle 23 yards later. It's hard to tell how big a guy this guy is until you see him in person. 6'4", 245, but he runs like a tailback. Look at him. Stiff arm and switching the ball up the 
downfield. Nice play by David Njoku, the big tight end. 11 of 19 for Kaya, 126 yards. And this one near the 40 is Amon Richards. And that'll add to the total as the clock rolls and the chains move. 16 yards on the play for the Canes. Tom, think about the last two guys that made plays for Miami. Freshman and sophomore, the two guys that made those last two plays. From the 41, Kaya again to the air, down to the 32-yard line. It's Richards again. Third and three. First down at the 16. Richards. It takes a few red shirts to finally get him out of bounds. Brad Kaya, 14 of 25, 164 yards passing in the first half. Over the middle, incomplete, beyond the 30. Walton breaks away. There's a flag that's come out well behind the play as Walton gets to about the 44. It's a roughing the passer. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 35, 15-yard penalty, first down. Contavious Street is going to get called for the roughing the passer call and a nice decision by Kaya to lay this ball off the Walton underneath. Looking for the roughing the passer. And a blow to the back right there by Street. And then here he just checks the ball down to Walton. And this is probably the, the part of Yerby and Walton's game that didn't get talked about enough. Good receiver. They got 19 yards on that previous play. And the penalty. Kaya's pass on the money at the 30. Drive that led to a field goal. Eight catches, 107 yards for Amon Richards so far. Walton, right side, has the room, and Walton to the end zone for Miami. 30 yards for Mark Walton. Well, this is a group from Miami that's too talented at the skill position level. If you can find a way to get NC State blocked, and I thought that was the biggest problem for Miami. They just could not block NC State. Well, they figured that out here in this opening drive. A couple of throws from Kaya, then Walton creases him with the run game. Good job up front, and then a poor angle coming down by Boone, the safety. Walton, but a great play by the two freshman linebacker. It's third and eighth. Edge pressure. Finley eludes it, throws to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Malik Young, the interception for the Canes. Pass intercepted by Malik Young. Just a good job of pressuring the quarterback and making him uncomfortable, first of all, by Miami. And then an ill-advised throw. This is where a quarterback has got to take care of the ball. If it's not a clean look, you have to preserve the field goal. Jenkins with, I'm sorry, with Harris with immediate pressure. And then the throw into coverage. And Miami stood tall on their opening drive offensively. Their defense comes up with a takeaway. It's the U by seven. Just showed you that Walton TD run of 30 yards. Miami had 22 total rushing yards in the first half. It's Walton again beyond the 30. Sean Boone made the tackle and he got 20 yards back. After the penalty, Mark Walton. Yeah, Walton starting to get a lather up now as he's starting to get some carries and a really a poor fit on the outside. And look by Dravius Wright. The, the personnel packages. He said they can run 12 personnel that looks like 11 or 10 personnel because they're able to split both he and Chris Herndon. They've got a big time receiver on their hands. He's got nine catches, 117 yards. That Coley. is complete. Stacey Coley, the race to the end zone. And he got tracked down by Josh Jones, but what a grab from Coley. Tom, these are the kind of throws that have the Miami fans kind of scratching their head when they don't see it all the time. This is a big time throw by Kyle. Looks the safety of the middle field and right on the money in a tight window throw to Coley, the big timer on the outside. Wondered when the senior was going to get it. How tight a throw was that by Kaya, right on the money to Coley, who shoves it inside the five-yard line. Wow. Those are the kind of throws that somebody to step up. Coley's been taken away. Mon Richards has stepped up, and you see the most by a freshman. Just broke the record of the great Michael Irvin. How about that? Second and goal. Up the middle, Walton. And he crashes into the end zone from a yard away. Mark Walton, a second rushing TD.
for Miami. And Mark Walton now with the 13 rushing touchdowns on the year. Benefactor of the big fullback, Williams, going to try to chip on him. That big offensive line keeps the legs churning. She's ball in days or Samuels' hands. Give it to Samuels. Denied. Oh, denied at the two. Stacked up and losing one. That's Jamal Carter and Jaquan Johnson. It's just so good by Miami to understand who's going to touch the ball down here. Excellent job, first of all, by Johnson to keep leverage to the outside. To well, here he comes back. Look for Samuels in the flat. Finley looking. Stumbles. Tosses it to the end zone. Batted around from one Miami player to another. Jamal Carter to Rayshon Jenkins. The officials are talking about it, and it's an interception. Yeah, this ball, this ball gets tipped by Carter. The big question is, 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 is he out of bounds when he tips the ball? Because it's balls caught in bounds. Now, here's Carter with six. Now, see his left foot. His left foot's on the line, it looks like to me. Now Jenkins makes the catch inbound, so it's the, the catch is clean. Now looks look at Carter's feet. That tip is clean. He's standing on the line there, maybe. Wow, that's close. The first tip is fine. It's the second tip. Is his foot on the ground and on the line? Boy, that's gonna be hard to tell there. Because the catch is clean by Jenkins on the second tip. I just can't tell if Carter's left foot's on the ground. A lot of times, as you said, when you get that pressure, they bump the, the receivers at the line of scrimmage. It looked like Stacey Coley slipped when coming out of his break on that one, and that caused the throw to be overthrown. Cherry wanted a fair catch. The ball on the turf, and it's Miami football. Jaquan Johnson comes up with it for the Canes after a 45-yard punt, and Cherry puts it on the grass. And we talked about the win, the differential in the win from pregame. And, Roddy, i got to figure that the win might have had something to do with this. It, it did. It carried that ball. We're going towards the part of the field where the wind is starting to, to carry a little bit, and that made Braylon Cherry retreat. And it, it's really tough to catch a punt when the wind is making the ball dance as much as it is right now. Well, you, you could see it. Roddy was talking about it carried the ball. You see Cherry started to settle under it, and then it kind of had to adjust to his right. right. Here at NC State between the teams. Well, Miami said enough of the zone read. We're not doing any of that anymore. They crowded the line of scrimmage, took away the perimeter run with Harris to the outside, and they, they closed down on the backside where the quarterback had no run. So nice job on the three-yard loss there. This Miami just crowds the line of scrimmage and takes away the quarterback on the backside, and Harris, who really quietly is. And that a crucial third down play. Matt Days. Looking for a place to run, and the options are limited. From the NC State 39. Walton around that corner. He's got first down yardage inside the 30. 12 yards, Mark Walton. Just inside the 25-yard line for the Kings. Walton. Walton breaks through. Walton going to the end zone for Miami. When it all boils down to it, Miami gets back to their ground attack. Ran the ball extremely well a week ago against Virginia. And now Mark Walton has three rushing touchdowns on the day. His third is the sealer for the U on the road. Line has come out with a different resolve. Got Bradley Chubb pushed to the inside. Walton runs through an arm tackle. And then the speed to take it to the end zone. Here's Chubb, the guy we talked about from the top. It's a disruptive force, but a good block by Herndon, the linebacker, or the, uh, the tight end of that side, and good vision by Walton to get to the backside on the cutback and pushes in the end zone for his third rushing touchdown of the day. Was it 14 on the year?